All right, so prayer then, dedication. The other thing you, you begin to notice is uh, the incredible beauty and perfection of all that exists. At first, this sort of knocks you out, and it's very difficult to function. Everywhere you go, the, the beauty is overwhelming. I can remember being in an airport, and uh, this couple merely looked at each other. And I, in the glance, you could see the love. The presence of the love just knocked me out. I don't know how I got onto the plane. I was just, it was just, <laughs> it's a, you're just blissed out by the incredible beauty of all that exists. Uh, as you walk through nature, you'll see the perfection. When you see the, the incredible beauty of weeds, they stop being weeds. When you walk by a weed and you look at it and you see its incredible perfection, there it stands there like the most magnificent sculpture. You begin to see that everything is like a magnificent sculpture. Every weed stands there displaying its incredible perfection and beauty. And now you become conscious and, and you're witness to the incredible perfection and beauty of all of creation. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, creation is uh, <clears throat> God manifest, the Godhead through creation. So you see that creation is ongoing and forever. There is no linear God who was a beginning and an ending. And the beginning was so and so. That's uh, a way of writing it up. <clears throat> that which has no beginning has no ending. Uh, therefore, it has no cause. So you live in a universe which is beyond causality. And you see that everything is unfolding. Its potentiality is actualizing by virtue of the infinite power of divinity, which is the ultimate context. The infinite power of divinity is an all-encompassing field of infinite power, out of which potentiality arises into actuality through emergence. Yeah, through emergence. Uh -huh. Therefore, the potentiality of the human spirit the eventuality of it is inevitable. You don't have to worry about spiritual evolution. It's inevitable. <laughs> you have to work hard to avoid it <laughs> because the potentiality is within you. And therefore, in the infinite presence of divinity, which is the source of all existence, that which you can become, that potentiality, begins to manifest as an actuality. Yeah? So therefore, you watch the focus on the beauty of all things, and you note the perfection of all that exists. You watch the unfoldment. So there's no longer causality, there's the unfoldment. The willingness to surrender all these negativities, the willingness to accept God's will, the choices, situations, the ego and its problem, you know, instead of being mad at the ego. So now we have a new way of seeing the ego. The ego is the leftover of the evolution of the protoplasm as the mammalian species. It was necessary for survival. It was what you owe your survival to. Without the ego, you wouldn't be here to complain about your ego. <laughs> I say, thank you, ego, for getting me to the point that I can transcend, you know, get off the bus and get on a different kind of a vehicle. But without the bus, you wouldn't get there. So. God's willing to accept all these assets, the ego and its problems. So in, instead of making the ego your enemy, you own it as though it's a pet. It's your little pet, left over from prehistoric times. Of course you hate other people. Of course you want to be dominant. Of course you want to be greedy and eat it all up. <laughs> of course you want to copulate round the clock. I mean, you know. <laughs> That's your animal side. <laughs> <laughs> you eventually accept God's infinite love and mercy. And, uh, all right, we'll go to the next one. I forget which is the last chart. Got to watch the time. <laughs>